Welcome to another video with Mal. Today we're going to talk about The Walking Dead issue 164. Um, I got the badass cover of it. Um, there were two cover options this time. I chose to go for this really odd format because I thought it looked really cool. Um, I don't know what it's actually um, in reference to. My comic book source is something about the Warriors comic from I Image Comics. I don't know that one but I thought it just looked like a really cool format so I decided I'd get it. So yeah, so we're going to look at issue 164. Um, we're still trying to clean up the walker herd at the moment, and this is called A Fallen House. So we're talking about Alexandria um, kind of possibly falling to the walkers, but there's a lot of um, people trying to do their best to make that not happen in this issue. So we have Maggie, um, Lydia, and Carl coming to Alexandria and seeing the zombies taking over kind of um, and they're just kind of in shock of it really and wondering if anybody has actually survived of course Carl thinks the worst his dad is dead possibly but Michonne of course appears out of nowhere within like a second to assure them no 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 they're probably fine and it's like there's a lot of they're probably fine a lot of this issue which I feel kind of takes away some of the um the edge to this issue of the, there being so many zombies, it feels like every few seconds they're going, they're reassuring us that actually the characters we love are going to be okay. And it's like, I'd actually like them to be in a bit more peril than they are currently, but that's how it goes. So we get Michonne and Jesus coming up to Carl and, um, and uh, Maggie telling them that they're leading the walkers outside like lemmings. Uh, Maggie goes to ride off to do it, tells Carl he better stay there because he's not a good enough rider, and they go to try and sort out the walker herd. Uh, we find Rick and Negan together. Um, in the previous issue, Negan helped to save Rick at the last second from um, being eaten by walkers, and now they're kind of working together. Uh, Negan finds this completely amusing um, that he is working with Rick um, and he's kind of saved Rick and Rick still does not want to trust him because why would you? Why would you trust Negan after all this time? But Rick um, still doesn't want to trust Negan and that's not going to happen and they're but they have to work together to get out of the situation. Uh, they're trapped in a house together um, and they have a conversation about um, working together and about how the fact they're not scared while everybody else that was facing that walker herd was scared and they're sitting in a house surrounded by walkers and they don't even care because they both have seen it all um they go on to have a conversation about what's the worst thing either of them did and you expect a rick come to come out with one of the horrible things he's done over the time but of course rick being rick prime says i lived which is like it's such a cop out actually <laughs> Um, then we get a real tie-in to kind of what's happened in Here's Negan lately. Uh, Negan completely agrees with him on the Here's Live bit. And we have some kind of, uh, throwback to what's happened in Here's Negan. Um, the last few issues, Negan has watched loads of people that he's come in contact with die. And we kind of get a throwback to that. And also the death of Negan's wife and the fact he didn't bury her properly also comes back to kind of haunt him. So we have a real big tie-in with Here's Negan in that part of it. Um, just kind of showing us what's going on with it. Um, we also check in with some of the other people that are um, in our town. Um, so we've got, I think it's Annie and Sonique. Um, and they're in Eugene's house and they've just kind of noticed the radio and stuff. So now we know the radio is there. So maybe Eugene doesn't have to live through this for any way to find it because they've just found the radio anyway. So they'll be fine. Um, and they're just kind of all talking about like we're all going to pull through this and we'll get through it. And it it always works out for Rick's group pretty much in this. And I don't like that reassurance. And it's like I, I feel like that's so false. And I know Kirkman is going to come out of nowhere and just kill off a bunch of people any minute now. I'm just waiting for it. Um, but yeah, that reassurance is not comforting to me at all. Um, so we go back to uh, Eugene and Heath. They are trying to get the zombies to move 
Uh, so um, they're kind of discussing how to how you actually distract zombies. And Eugene brings up the fact that because they've been able to live in such a small, close knit community now, and they've kind of got this under control, they've actually been able to observe the zombies' movements better and understand them a bit better. Um, while Heath, who used to be the runner all the time before he lost his leg, so he never had time to look at those kind of things, and he's always running. Um, we get a really good little bit about he saying that when he's on horseback he actually feels whole again. This really feels like they're going to kill off he sometime soon. It really does feel like, yeah, let's give him this little this little tiny story arc and then he'll be dead next issue. Um, we do have that cover of um, he struggling against some of the saviors, so maybe that is coming for him soon. Who knows? Um, we go back to Dwight. Um, trying to get some more of the zombies out of the way, um, and he just pretty much leaves them to Andrea. They're just getting zombies gone, really. They're just leading them to the ocean, trying to kill them off as best they can. It's not really that interesting, because it's all just kind of like, no one's under threat here. It's just like, oh, there's loads of zombies. This is what we always do when there's loads of zombies. And it feels, it just feels like there's not enough action there for me. So I didn't really like that bit as much. Uh, we get Negan and Rick... Um, deciding they're going to have to go out and fight the zombies. Rick is really adamant. He wants to go get weapons. But Negan's like, no, you stay here because you can't walk properly. And I don't need to throw you over my shoulder and carry you and get us both killed. So I will go out. You have to trust me for once, Rick. And I will go out and do this. So Negan's been very much in this camp of you have to trust me, Rick, so much for the last, like, about ten issues now. And Rick still doesn't trust him. I don't think Rick will ever trust Negan, um, but he talks about them working together and Negan goes out into the zombie fray to go get some other weapons. Um, we come to Carl, who has taken a leadership role, of course he has, because really the comic is all about Carl Grimes and we know that. Uh, telling people that they've stood on the sidelines too long, they need to gather up weapons, they need to go start fighting the fight. Lydia looks up to him. Um, with a grin of, oh, I knew you had it in the whole time, Carl. And um, Carl gives the kind of command to go and fight now. Um, the last page, we check back in with the saviors who are watching everything happen and are deciding they're going to go attack soon to go clean up what's left of Alexandria and take um, control of it. We... And that's where we leave it for this um, issue. We don't have very long between issues. It's literally a two-week wait um, for this one. And then we'll be back for the month wait after that, which is going to suck, really. Um, <laughs> I love the bit in the leather hack. So at the end, it says, we'll be back in two weeks for 165. Do Rick and Negan, Negan kiss in that one? Maybe I ain't telling. <laughs> I sure hope so. <laughs> it's just so funny. <laughs> I was like, yeah, I don't, I don't think that's going to happen, but yeah, sure. Um, I do want to talk briefly about the episode that aired on TV as well. Um, I really enjoyed that one, the new Best Friends episode. Of course, I loved all the Carol and Daryl scenes, and I was completely going over to the camp of Carol and Ezekiel. But you brought me back. I'm shipping Carol and Daryl again. Make it happen. Come on. Make it happen. God darn it. Um... I also heard some um, good theories about what Carol's future might be. Um, possibly taking over some things from the Whisperers in the future. You guys can imagine what that would be. I'm not going to spoil too much there. But um, I'm quite excited about what Walking Dead has been doing at the moment. I didn't come back excited for this season um, as a whole. But actually it's done pretty well. And I'm looking forward to watching the next episode tomorrow. So that should be good. Um, I'm enjoying the part Carol's playing. I'd like to see more of her, of course, because I think they need Carol to kind of help defeat Negan at this point. I know she wasn't around in the comic, um, but she is definitely an integral part of the show, and she should be part of that um, defeating Negan, even if it does lead to her downfall, which I hope it does not. I hope she lived through the war. Um, I know her character's on borrowed time since the prison, but... She's very popular, and I think she will live through the war at this point. So that's my thoughts on The Walking Dead comic and The Walking Dead TV show for the last week, guys. Please subscribe to my channel and check out my other videos. I talk about comics, I show off comic hauls, and I talk about TV shows I love and books. I will see you guys later. Bye-bye! Hey guys, Mel here. I really want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to subscribe, subscribe, want you to click that button below. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe.